Well, it's the 15th night, and we're uh, in Gamal's lair. And we're going to find out just exactly what we have in store for us. Basically, the gist is that we got to steal back all the stuff that we previously stole from other people. In this witchy place. Shiny utensils. And if you're wondering if there's going to be living statues again, the answer is yes, I'm pretty sure. In fact, I distinctly remember there being like a giant friggin' titan one somewhere along the way. Dislike low drone music. What? The sh okay. Got stuck on the stairs there for a second. You can hear the statues already. But yeah, just like that low drone. Like somebody's sitting on the ass end of keyboard. Keyboard. Piano. That's that's what I was looking for. The Glyph of Unbinding. Uh, what do you need? What did I read? <laughs> I'm just going to go to my notes. The chalice and the paw search Kamal's lair for clues about the final glyph and what she wants with the artifacts. If I had obtained the glyph of unbinding. Which can be used to destroy the statues. Oh! Maybe it's... You have to find the unbinding glyph before you get the ability to knock them out. In quotations. Maybe that's how it was. Honestly can't remember. It's a lot. Mm. A lot of stuff to remember. Uh, to the council. I'm not going to read most of this. Okay. We just want to get our stuff. Do I have a map of the place? No. We don't have a map of Gamal's lair. That would have been smart. But also, if you're sneaking into a lair, how exactly does one procure a map? Whoops. Meant to turn out the light, not pick up a book. Drop it, Garrett. Garrett. Well. Hopefully that doesn't bite me in the ass. Could technically get up on top of that box, but I don't see the purpose. Um... Where are we going? I say to the other side over there. But I gotta wait for this statue lad to make his rounds. Makes his rounds quite nicely though, like it's not really How many times am a problem. I going to steal this thing? Gone and taken and gone uh -oh. They're noticing me. I mean at least that was pretty easy. It's a very well lit corridor, though. Shit! The problems are starting with the bright ass corridors. Um. Okay, this one seems to make his rounds quite nicely. So, although his I'll. His route's been altered just because I stole something. Maybe he's resuming now. This is the kind of bummer is that, you know, the programming goes back to, like, its default state fairly swiftly. Okay, I spoke too soon. But you know what I mean, right? Like, once you observe a routine and then you're like, okay, yeah, break it up a little bit. And then you just, you can trust that they'll go back to it. That is part of what makes... Stealth in games a little bit easier than it needs to be, or what it should be, I guess. Not needs to be. It needs to be simplified a bit just to make it, you know, not unfair and frustrating. I need a bigger break so that I can get through that door. That's probably the biggest break we're gonna get. Nice. 
Okay, into this corner. And then hope it doesn't actually come in here. The final glyph has to fuck glyphs. Glyphs, not glyphs. Uh, come on. Not what we're looking for. How about this one? Gamal's journal. I love how she's like this, like, monstrosity. And yet, keeps just this nice little organized journal. With all her thoughts. Who are you writing to, Gamal? They say she used to be human. But whatever she was, Gamal's a monster now. I guess maybe she still thinks she's human. Maybe that's why. Alright. I mean, I guess you don't generally journal with the intent of, like, other people finding it. You usually do that for yourself. Your own notes and records so that you don't have to remember everything. So... I'm going to leave that door open because that's an empty room and I want an escape route. Shit. This, if memory serves, is where the... What I'm going to call... Yeah, Titan. The Titan Golem thing. And it's that big because you can climb up the wall to get up onto those ledges, and it can hurt you for a very long time while you're doing that. How do you see anything? There's more in the next room over. Uh, more darkness would be appreciated. Just gonna make an attempt. Okay, there's obviously something behind this door. Come on. Garrett! I don't think the big one could get in behind me, which is good. Could be wrong. And this is, of course, brighter than all holy hell. pal. Gotta find this glyph of unbinding even though it's useless to me. Shit. Just silence. Uh, did it see me? Should have seen me. Come on. Uh-oh. 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 That's a sign! At least it's obvious when it's seen me. The stomping gives it away. Is it trying to jump up? It can obviously can't, but it's a funny animation either way. Okay, there's actually nothing in here. Cannot see, cannot see, blind, cannot Shit. See. I guess this corner. Hope it goes the other way. Something here, yes, find it, find it. 
have no real way of dealing with them. I mean, I say that, but I got, like, perfectly good mines sitting right here. But that's gonna help me with maybe five of them, if it only takes one. And it's totally possible that it could take more than one. Really can't remember. Except I fucked up the route that way. I kinda wanted to go that way, because I came from the other way. And if rules of symmetry teach me anything, it's that the jackknoll's paw will be in this end of the building. It just looks away, like, nope, not gonna look in that corner. I don't even want to know. Okay. Somewhere new. Wait a minute. Uh, Why is this door open? Was I here? I was here. Son of a bitch. Ah. There's a lot of voices in the background, like, behind the ambient noise. I'm sure that can't get picked up at all, but it is there. It's quite creepy. Just trying to find any semblance of information. Ah. Uh-oh. Where are you lads going? Got it. Again. Whatever it is. They're gonna notice at some point. <clears throat> Come on, guys. Sound is silent. Noise is gone. No sound. No noise. <laughs> it's too close for comfort. Turn around. I'd like to go that way, please. Please and thank you. Don't just stare there. Is that a weird shadow, or does it just have, like, a mossy side to its, like, hip? I choose to believe it's moss. Yay, loot. Not that it helps much of anything. Um, how do we get out of here now? Water arrows would normally be the solution. Sorry, I do have a bit of a uh, touch of sickness left over, I guess. Got sick between the last two recording sessions, and then I seemed fine last time, and now it's like back a little bit. It only becomes noticeable when I'm trying to like talk for like a longer stretch, generally. Just. Mm hmm. Darkness at last. Do you think if I tuck myself in this corner, that'll be hidden enough? I sure hope so. Ash bombs at the ready. Good. Okay. That's good enough for me. Back in here. Alright, we got the paw. We got the chalice. We just gotta figure out what else is important.
All right, I'm gonna say back to where the Titan was. Maybe I'll see if I can climb up the wall or something. I don't think it comes back here on its patrol. So when it heads that way, just head for the other door. Oops, preemptive a bit. Back in here, which is the closest thing to safety we know. Just gonna hide out for a sec. Okay. We're just gonna pretend that it's not there for a sec. Eventually, just to turn around properly. All right, how do we get up top? Pretty sure I can't just climb up there. Ah, oh, I can just climb up there. Well, shit, son. Look at that. <laughs> I thought those were there to stop me, but no, they're just decoration. Come on, Garrett. Come on, Garrett. Gotta get up. Yeah! Look at that! That was so much easier. How does Gamal get up here, though? Not important. Important part is we got... Oh. I guess a cutscene. I thought I told you I don't like being followed. Our separate paths have converged, Garrett. We both seek the same thing. Hmm. I suppose if you were working for Gamal, you would have tried to kill me just now. Tried? I would have succeeded. Look around us, Garrett. This is Gamal's secret library. Here she has been lurking, plotting, and for much longer than just one lifetime. She has used the glyphs to extend her life. And there's more. You've been reading, Artemis. Yes, we are fortunate. In these books, Gamal has documented her plans carefully. But the meaning of that map is not yet clear to me. Chalice, Crown... These things are marked with the names of the artifacts. These books, some have been missing for months, some maybe years. She does not say what the final glyph does, only that she will become undefeatable once she... The Aldale Plaza, the South Quarter Fountain. Well, now we know what to do with the artifacts once we have them. They fit into those landmarks somehow. She has been gaining knowledge while our ignorance grew. Do the books say where she is now? The remaining treasures they are at the museum. She hopes to gather them all at once. And when she has them, she'll activate this... the last of all glyphs. No, no. The books are very clear on that. She intends to destroy it. When she has all the treasures, she'll have the power to do just that. The last glyph is the only thing she fears. Well, that and you, my friend. Destroy it? But that's what Orland and the others told me to do. Half-truths from the Keepers? Why am I not surprised? For the Council to still employ subterfuge, with all that's at stake. I will go to Orlan myself and get the truth from him. You should go to the museum and steal the remaining artifacts before Gamal gets to them. Then let us meet back at Stone Market Plaza. And Garrett, if you come face to face with Gamal, you must understand. With her power over glyphs, she is all but indestructible. Right, I'll keep that in mind. Artemis?
How do you like that, Garrett? It's not so fun when someone just disappears at the end of a conversation and doesn't say goodbye either, right? I believe this is the Unbinding Glyph. Yes, that would give us a nice little upgrade that we're not going to use. Yeah, Glyph will allow you to destroy the statues with the blackjack. Noise! Won't use it, but noise. Um... Well, I think that enlightens us enough to everything else, right? Like, that's loot. Oh, there's no loot goal either. So, does that mean... Uh, we've done everything that we have to do here? Yeah, break into the museum. And meet up with Artemis. Okay, so we're, like, effectively done here in Gamal's Lair. We can leave whenever we want now. Which is perfect. Um, cool. So yeah, it's a bit of a shorter one then, I guess. Didn't actually know that. I thought this was like a full-blown dealio, but... That works out for the best, really, because uh, I'm way late to the recording on this one. Just with like how life, busy life is and stuff like that, right? Like, it really depends, like, on how much time I have for recording, editing and stuff. Oops. Usually, I like to have my recordings done, like, a few days in advance. So that I can, you know, spend some time another night doing the editing and all that stuff, and then upload ahead of time and just set it to a schedule. But when I'm less organized, or just more busy in general, that's not what happens. And instead we get something more like this week, where I'm, like, recording the morning before I upload, hopefully. Like, usually I like to have it up, like, have it uploaded already and then, like, scheduled so it'll release later in the day. What the fuck? How do you actually get out of this place? Where's the door? I know these guys came in just because I'm supposed to test out the blackjack ability on them, but we're not going to use the blackjack ability. Nothing, no one is here. Nothing is here. No one is here. So yeah, I don't really have like a whole lot of time. Um, because, you know, recording takes however long the episode is, obviously. Sometimes longer if there's like you know, outtakes, because sometimes what happens is, like, the game will crash or something weird will happen, and then I'll just, like, have to scrap whatever happened from the last yes, save onward. Find it, find it and kill it. But either way, like, it's at least however long the video is, and then editing takes not quite as long, but close follow to it. And that's hoping that I don't, like, forget things, find. which is why I like to do it, like, the next day after, so I can come at it fresh and just, you know... Not forget all the steps that I've, like, established for myself. Well, how do I get out of here? Can I just climb up the chimney? That'd be... Nope. We cannot climb up the chimney. Huh? Oh, maybe it's up on top of that, though. That landing there. That's probably it. Because it wasn't on top of that one. That's where the artwork was. Gotta be up there. Alright, well, let's... If we're gonna climb the wall, who cares if Stony sees us? So yeah, recording this the morning before I release it, and then hopefully, like during a lunch break, I'll be able to uh, get my editing done, and then have the processing done um, just while I work. There we go. What's on the other side? And then hopefully upload close to on time. The problem is, is that like. Because of the editing, and just with, like, the Thief games specifically, like, I have to up the quality quite a bit because otherwise it looks, like, really pixelated and shit if you have, like, a lot of darkness. The Gothic playthroughs didn't have that issue. I could just, like, export it at whatever the default was in, uh... What the hell? A shotcut. Which is, like, the H.264 codec with, like, a 55% quality setting. And it looks pretty damn good. And then it reduces the file size down to, like, you know, like, five-ish gigabytes. Sometimes less. But... Oh, God. Close it, close it, close it, close it. 
But because it's so dark, you get a ton of pixelation if you, like, have the quality down to any significant degree. I'm just gonna shit out the flash bombs. So that means that I gotta bump the quality up so that I can get what feels like the same amount of quality to me. And unfortunately, when you do that, that, like, blows the file size up to, like, 25 gigabytes. Ish. Give or take. Shit, this isn't where I wanted to be either. I'm lost. Uh, this seems right. And then, yeah, 25 gigabytes takes forever to upload because my internet is not great. It's not garbage, but it's really not great. And even when I had internet that was technically three times faster, it still wasn't really any better. And I was paying double the price for it, so... To hell with that, ISP. Any time I would test the speed, it would, like, be significantly lower than it was advertised at. Alright, so... We got our work set up for us, so all we're gonna do now is... I decided, because it's, like, fairly short, I'm just gonna include it in this episode as well. We're gonna go make a quick shopping trip. And then... Enjoy our night at the museum! That's the museum there. Gonna break into it. Okay, this is the longer way. Don't actually know what the best way to break in is, and somebody is supposed to have a map, I'm pretty sure. Thanks for supporting my break in, buddy. Where'd the guards go? There's one. The? Um, I'm gonna go get someone to deal with you. Does someone know that I'm a problem? No, you don't. You don't got jack shit. Okay. Well, anyway, gotta go for a shopping trip, refresh my. Refresh? <laughs> Replenish my flash bombs? I said refresh the first time there. Get more flash bombs. I think that's all I need. And then we'll break into the museum for what is one of my, if not my favorite mission for this entire game. Hey, I saw that taffer. Piss off. Ah, Garrett. Ah. It's been a long time. Where do I buy things? Where does one buy things? No, they're probably trying to use the shadows. Aha! You there! Run while you can! Uh oh! Oh no! You won't just... get far. Yeah, clearly. Stop running, you coward! Quit your running, damn! Oh, oh my eyes! I'm burning! <laughs> if I go through here, does that help me? Good. Oh god! He still remembers from last time. Oh man, welcome, welcome. I've been going Speaking through so many flash bombs, store. lady. I call it Carmen's place because that's uh, me. I'm Carmen. Let's fill up on the our oil. I think I sell ladies undergarments or something. Fill up on. I don't know where they got that impression. Smoky bombs or but gas bombs. Away, so everybody's happy, yeah. I'm the finish yes. <sighs> Oh god. Seriously, but <clears throat> piss off. Help. Oh. Someone's out on the street. Murdering <clears throat> swine. Anybody else? I think everyone's still spooked from when the ghost came through. Alright. Well, that's enough of that. Let's, uh... Refill our supplies welcome, again. Welcome. Hey. Into my store. I am your best customer today. Place, Shit. Because that's me. I'm Carmen. The How to get through the game when you are piss frickin' poor. There we have it, friends. Allies. People. <laughs> Not this again. Yeah, everyone got real high on the smoke and just passed out. Would you like to smell some? All black. All right, let's go this way. Fuck. Get up, Garrett. I don't have time to piss around. Capacity, I guess. It's not really a time issue. So, Smithy. Uh, 
just a flicker of something there. Eh, it's nothing. I didn't see anything. There is a merchant at these parts, but we're not going to worry about it right now. Okay. The museum. How do we get into the it's museum? Quite being out among the common folk. Just see how they look up to me. I can't just walk in through the front gate of the museum. Aww. I'll have to find some other way inside. What other way, Garrett? Oh. <laughs> How convenient. Ow. What the fuck? I guess I was supposed to climb down. Whoopsie doodle. Garrett, hello my friend. Who the fuck is addressing me this time? My crystal ball tells me that you're planning to go to the museum. Of course there's never pressure to buy. What? Our boys tried to pull off a while ago. Interesting. Well, unfortunately, I am piss fucking poor, so I don't think I have the money to buy replicas to stave off, I don't know, getting caught just a little longer, so I don't think I'm gonna do that. More challenge, am I right? Master plan. Interesting. Well, I think I'm already maxed out for mines, right? Yeah, I can't hold more than five. Well, it is what it is, I guess. Tonight, or tomorrow night, I guess, we break into the museum. And that's going to be a fun little show, I think. Honestly, it's very similar to... Um, the bank heist in Thief 2, you know, like it's it's a big sprawling mission, everyone loves it, that's why there's so much hype for the museum, so yeah, stay tuned for that, we're gonna have a hell of a time. Till then, take care, and have yourselves a good one. Bye.